Hello, my name is Andrew, and today along with my friend Chad Foshu, we will be giving an instructional video on how to transfer information from our database into our Rainbird software. We are doing this on behalf of our fellow group members, Kaylin, Jared, Brett, and Kenan. We began with the driving question. How can we transfer the irrigation information from our database efficiently into the Rainbird software? That driving question is going to lead us through our video today. Welcome to our tutorial for the Rainbird series program. To begin, we are going to need to start by opening up the system setting tab located in the top middle of the screen. After clicking on this, you are going to need to make sure your program is set to decoder. As you can see, there is a check mark underneath the tab decoder. Once this is completed, moving from the left tab to the right tab, you are going to want to move to international settings. Once international setting has been clicked, you are going to want to make sure your flow measurement units are set to US units, gallons per meter, or GPM. After that is completed, you are going to move on to your system data tables. Once this has been clicked, a drop down will appear where you will have to click precipitation data table. This chart you are going to need to figure out your areas on your golf course, the pattern of the sprinklers, the head spacing, the row spacing, the GPM and once that is completed your precipitation rate will auto populate. So for our greens we use a square pattern with a 71 foot head spacing and a 71 foot row spacing with a 31.9 GPM. We found this out by going to the Rainbird website. Using the 700 series, no 700 series sprinklers with 80 PSI and an orange nozzle, we came up with the 71 foot radius giving us a 31.9 GPM. After that is in inputted, you will auto populate, you will auto automatically get a precipitation rate, which we got as a 0.61. As you can see for our fairways, we use a triangle spacing. Once we found out our head spacing was 81 feet, to find out the row spacing for a triangle head or triangle sprinkler system, you need to take your 81 feet and times by 0.866, that giving us our 70.1. Once this chart is completed, you will now move on to the area definition tables. As you can see, this is where you're going to enter your area handles. Each area of on, on our golf course is, des, is was designed to match the first letter of that word. As you can see, G stands for greens, T for tees, F for fairways, R for roughs, A for approach, P for perimeter, and S for surrounds. These letters can be whatever you want, but we just found that was the easiest way to identify them. Moving on, you're going to go to your last tab, Default Data Settings. We set our default runtime for greens, tees, fairways, roughs, approach, perimeter, and surrounds all to 10 minutes. This was done because we found it was the easiest if any timing was needed to be adjusted. We knew that for example, if greens needed 80%, we knew that our sprinklers would run for 8 minutes. You can set this runtime to whatever you want, but we just found that was the easiest number to use. Once that is completed, you need to move on to your last tab, Default Rotor Data. Once this is clicked, you are going to see, you are going to need to input your sprinkler type, your GPM, and the number of sprinklers you use you use. And again, your precipitation will auto populate. So for our greens, we use the Rainbird 700 series. Clicking on this, a chart will pop up. And as you can see again, using the 80 PSI and orange nozzle, we come up with a, G a GPM of 30 31.9. Greens and, greens and perimeters are the only areas on our golf course that use one sprinkler. The rest Tees, fairways, rough, approach, and surrounds all have two. So once this is completed, you are now ready to move on. I'm now going to hand it over to Andrew and he's going to take you through the station details.
After your data tables have been inputted, you can start labeling stations for each hole. So right now, as you can see on the screen, um, we are currently set on hole number eight. For the sake of this video, we're going to do hole number nine. How this works is you input the data off of your spreadsheet into your Rainbird software. Much of the data has already been inputted into the data tables, so now we just need to know how many stations for each plane surface to input into the workspace. And that includes greens, tees, fairways, rough, approaches, perimeters, and surrounds. So we go, we go back to our uh, spreadsheet that we made, and we can see that on hole number nine, there is three sprinkler stations on, on tee boxes on hole number nine. So we go back to our Rainbird software and we insert one, two, three T stations for hole number nine. We go back to the spreadsheet and we see that the stations are labeled number 230, 231, and 232. We come here and we label them 230, 231, and 232. We move on. Oops. We then move on to rough. And as you can see <clears throat> on hole number nine, there's two rough stations. So we go to rough, one, two. They are labeled 233, 234. We have one approach station that we will in input, and it is labeled 235. And finally, we move on to greens, perimeters, and surrounds. There is five green stations. They are labeled 236 to 240. Perimeters stationed beside the green green sprinklers. However, on hole number nine, there is only four perimeter stations, and they are labeled 241 to 244. Lastly, there is one surround station on hole number nine, and it is labeled 245. We can then hit the all areas tab and see all of the stations that we have set up on our holes with the numbers that they correlate to. As you can also see, the decoders are set up I forgot to change the greens to 600s. That will be changed right now. Everything else will be set at 102s. We then go back to all areas. The green sprinklers are set to 600 decoders. Everything else to 102s and you have station numbers for all of the stations set up on hole number nine at our golf course. Finally, to conclude, over the course of this video, we went over the process of entering the data from the spreadsheet into the Rainbird software. This includes inputting the sprinkler system setup 
and station details for each area on the golf course within the Rainbird Cirrus software system. We hope that you now have a better understanding of how this process is completed and we encourage you to leave comment on our video. Thanks for watching.